Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm showing you how to add fancy animated underlines to your links. So like if you have a text links, you know, hyperlinks in your text, um, you can now have like this cool underline and then when you hover over the link it will make the background color um, fully behind the text. So if you've been on my website, you have seen this before. So I thought, hey, I'll share it with you, um, a nice little code snippet for you to enjoy. So let's show you that first of all. In fact, just literally look around and you'll see. So here's here's one right in the opening paragraph here. Um, in fact, I say, if you were new here, go browse our hundreds of Divi tutorials. Yes, we have hundreds and hundreds of them now. because so we do it every week and we've been doing it for years. So. This tutorial is as simple as it gets. You take the code here and paste it into your website. Now, there are some things that you will probably want to customize and be aware of. So, as you can see, there's one step here. There's, sometimes we do like three or four or five steps tutorial, but this is one. Um, so you copy this, and that copies this code right here. And go over to your theme options, so go in the Divi menu, theme options, and then down here, you can just find somewhere and paste it like that and save changes. Now you can look at the code if you want to, I'll get to that, but let's go um, to a page and I'll just add some text. And in fact, let me show you if I just make some random text here into a link, right? Let's put a hashtag. All right, so you can see what it does. It makes it blue by default, and that's it. There's no other distinction. It's just blue text, right? So that's the default. That's going to, that's going to be in your customizer, actually. Um, so if I exit here, now I did add the code, and now when I exit, it should apply, yes. So you can see now it added that from this code. Now this there's a green line, and so let's let's look at it a little closer. Um, so we're targeting text, ETPB text. That's the text module. And then A, which is, you know, the, that just means a hyperlink. It is background image linear gradient. So don't overthink that or anything. It's just a trick to get it so that we have this green that you see right there as a background. It's just a little trick to get that. Now, you can see background size is 100% and then two pixels. That two pixels right there could be adjusted. Watch this, let's change it to four. All right, now that I'll show you. That's one thing you could adjust. See, it made the line thicker to start with. See that, it's just thicker. So um, I think it looks great at two, but, um, and then you could change the transition speed um, the font weight, we're actually making the color inherit and then font weight and bold. So you can see that here. See how it turns white? Because you got to be able to see it depending on what um, background color you are using. Now, if you are using, I don't know, like a light yellow or something, you may want the text to remain like a dark color or even a darker color. Make it like pitch black when you hover over it, something like that, okay? Uh, let's see. So changing the color, we talked a little about that, but also that whole green color, you can change that. See, there's um, a six-digit hex, you know, six hex um, number right there. You can change that. That's just going to be that green color. You will want to change it both places. You can see it here, and you can see it here. Just change it both places to whatever color you want, and then when you hover here, it'll be that color, okay? Now I have some information about modifying the selector. Like I said, it's targeting a text module and that's it. Any link in a text module will become you know, styled like this. Now, you may be asking, how do I make this apply to all links on my site? Well, there are some ways to do that, but you may run into some problems. So let's say, for example, let me just show you. Let's get rid of the whole ETPB text and just have A. Maybe maybe there won't be any problems. Let's see if there's any problems. All right, I see some. So we got this because that's still a link. But look, the logo 
has a line now. Um, this menu has a line. This cart icon has a line. So even if you had images, all those things are going to be links and it's going to not be a good idea to do it this generically, all right? So it's too generic. Now you could say, add a letter P and that would certainly narrow it down because now you're targeting paragraph text, right? Um, now you may say, see, look, it's not in the image. It's not in the menu. It's not in this icon. So that's great. I really narrowed it down and that may work for you unless you want it to be like also um, in headings like an H1 or something. Now you could also add commas here. So you could say um, H1A. I don't even think we have any on the page, but you know what I mean. You can start adding commas and then separate the things. Let's add one just for kicks and giggles. So first I have to have a H1 heading and I have to have a link in that heading. So do that. Cool. You can see it already applied. I don't know why it's showing all green. What did I do wrong? Oh, no, I didn't add hover. That would help because otherwise it was applying the hover effect to normal. Okay. There, now we have it in the header. So you could, you could do that and you could keep it pretty generic. Another thing you could do if you wanted to, you knew that you were only targeting um, specific things like, like the blurb module, you could say ETPB blurb A, right? Um, and then you would want to Make sure you always make the hover the same. And you could add as many things here as you want. Maybe you also want it to target, you know, single post blogs, so the so blog article. So you could say um, single like that, and then um, maybe P and then A, right? So like it's going to make text on just your blog posts, you know, single. So it's like any single post. So you may want to check um, our other tutorial about that, but finding the selector. But those are some things to do. So again, it's, it is simple. It's just, you can make it more complex if you want to. Copy the code, change the colors, and modify your selector. And you will have links like that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, um, please tickle the algorithm for me and give me a thumbs up and a comment and all that stuff. That really helps. And let me know what you want to see next, and we'll see you all in the next video.